忘れてくれて構わねえ俺の魂は生きていく俺は一根の酒のおとぎになればよし What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we are here with a video that I never thought I'd ever probably make which is actually using V2 Odin against Revolutionary Army number 2. Now the thing about it is, is I really have not taken on like Revolutionary Army 2, Doflamingo number 2 in video format for a very long time, like essentially since it's come out I haven't really made additional teams for this type of content just because it is slightly on the more difficult end and when I say more difficult I just mean more difficult than the typical 10 star difficulty garb challenges and I find that you know showcasing units I can get it done much faster by taking on the 10 star difficulty garb challenges however with so much time on our hands due to the fact that there has not really been a lot of content that has released as of late uh, we've gone ahead and gonna be taking on the revolutionary army number two and with no real surprise Odin V2 is able to get the job done. Of course, I wanted to showcase V2 Odin once again because he is the most recent Sugo Fest exclusive character that I've personally pulled. Unfortunate to not pull characters like Izo and Okiku, Kara and Wanda in the month prior, still no Kinemon and Denjiro. So, hopefully, as we move forward, we're able to get a little bit more lucky in uh, some of these upcoming Sugo Fests so that we can go ahead and showcase them in, uh, in a variety of pieces of content. Um, and also really looking forward to more Pyre Rumble stuff due to the Super Pyre Rumble season heading towards, you know, Block B, Block C, and eventually the Championship season, which is going to be a lot of fun. But I digress, let's go ahead and talk about the content. Now, it has been a really long time since I've actually built a new team for this. As I said a little bit earlier, this is like the first team I've built essentially, like, since it came out, just about. And it was definitely, uh, definitely refreshing to go through some content that hadn't really gone through that much at all. And I, I say that, but I, even though I do clear this like every single month I just typically use a team that I've already built before and I haven't really needed to go ahead and build a different team and yes you can definitely build way faster teams than the one you're seeing in this video but this is more of just proof of concept hey here's V2 Odin taking on Revolutionary Army number two which I know that a lot of people kind of despise playing against consider like consider just the fact that it is a, just annoying piece of content to play the 10 star difficulty garb challenges while they don't really net you a lot of rewards initially once you complete all of the GARP challenges, obviously you get a lot of amazing rewards. However, if you do go and put the effort in to beat Revolutionary Army and uh, even Doflamingo, the Heavenly Demon number two, you net yourself like 10 gems and like all these other like keys for Limit Break expansion and turkeys and all the other good stuff. So it's definitely worth taking the time to go ahead and beat this type of content. So as for the team composition that we have here, of course, I wanted to showcase Double V2 Odin and having Roger and Whitebeard, that was just the number one character I wanted to put on the team. It's just a ridiculously powerful unit and the fact that that unit itself procs the full super type or super class, should I say, for V2 Odin, it was just a no-brainer to put them on the team. And also, one thing I wanted to build with this team, like the, the goal I wanted to have, was to try and beat all of the stages as, as quick as I possibly can. And unfortunately, I did fall a little bit short when we get to the Karasu stage. It took me a little while to get through that one. But I guess that's kind of just my fault. But either way, I, I wanted to get through this Molly stage as, as quick as I possibly can. And this is what I decided to come up with. So I do have the Ace support attached to Roger and Newgate. So when we launch the special of Ace, it's going to apply the burn effect. But the thing is that we have to deal with the two turns of threshold and the two turns of defense up. So we have the Cat Viper from the Treasure Map Sugo Fest that recently just came out as a support on Odin. So when we hit a perfect, it actually removes one turn of that threshold, which means we only really have to wait one turn before we can do normal damage to him, along with the Brook support attached to Serba Mask, which can remove the two turns of increased defense. And because of Odin's special ability, it does apply that effect where if we use his special below 50%, he gives us a pretty decent 
heal and he also gives us a huge damage reduction buff for that one turn so we want to get him basically down to zero hp and then the burn will kill him but we do have to tank that hit because it is an attacking turn if we don't kill him on this turn here he's going to apply five turns of blue and threshold shield so we don't want to deal with that so that's the way that we were able to get through it which is awesome also Sober mask is just a shout out to him because even though he is a pretty old character at this point he still goes to show as to why he is still one of the more useful characters to have. His special ability providing the full board of tandem slots and a 1.75 times attack boost. And remember, if you do partner that up with the Odin special ability where he applies that effect where any attacker or boosting effect uh, via a uh, free spirit or a slasher character gets a 0.25 increase. So you can just get Sobermask to be a two times attack boost on activation. Remember though, that if you do have that buff active from Odin, that you can't use two Sobermasks in the same turn to then buff it to like a 2.75 for example it just doesn't work that way because the buffing don't really work together um and of course you do have to keep note with of that with roger and newgate who also have an effect that can buff an attacker and all boosting effect has been very very cautious of that also, V1 Rayleigh being the MVP that he is, providing the seven turns of Bind, Despair, and Paralysis removal, you absolute homie. That is, uh, it's just so useful, and it's going to be very, very useful moving forward in a lot of content. And the fact that he's a fighter and a slasher, he's got great classes, of course, and fits very, very well with the uh, V2 Odin character. And then the final character on the team is Kaku, who is mainly just here because he's able to remove three turns of Paralysis and three turns of Attack Down uh, with his special ability. Well, that's at least with Stage 1. I believe he goes to five turns if you use stage two but the uh the different stages here only apply up to three turns of attack down and then one of the stages applies the paralysis so having a character that can use you can use earlier on to get rid of the attack down on the hack stage and then by the time we get to the bellow betty stage where we get given additional attack down and paralysis um kaku will be ready a character i was thinking of using was going to be the limited time bonsai akainu because he's a free spirit unit he gets rid of paralysis and attack down by five and he also provides a conditional boost but kaku did just fit the bill so i found that you know i should probably just use kaku because it's a little bit more accessible for more people out there considering bonsai akainu hasn't returned in like so long and it is kind of a shame that that character hasn't come back yet because he's one of the best limited time characters dare i say probably the best or what at least one of the best uh, limited time characters ever in the game's history but that is going to wrap up this video today thank you so so much for watching and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post on my channel including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i will see you guys within the next video やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。やるな。